This conference will now be recorded. Good morning. Welcome to Confirmic. Confirmic has released its latest version in Jan 2021. This video will help us to understand what are all the salient features that are added for this new release. One of the important features is BRM modeling made in compliance with Gherkin standards. In the previous release, BRM modeling is at a very basic level to just generate the feature files at a detailed application level. But in this release, the BRM modeling is equipped with different components like background, given actions, tags like functional, UAT, test IDs, etc., to make the output feature files in compliance with the Gherkin standards. Now, let us have a quick tour to understand what exactly are the new components are added and how that will help to generate the feature files in the declarative standards. So let me jump start and create a new activity diagram. And it is very simple to add a quick uh, BRM node here. So let us consider this as my new node. Okay, I created one node here. And you can see in the business actions, I can customize the uh, when and then default actions which are already existing and I will be able to add much more or new additional actions like uh, given and name tags like uh, name tags narrative tags like which will help me to create the tags and everything. So let me uh, say that this launching URL is the first step and this can be considered as a background. So to make this as a background I'll quickly go ahead and add this action called narrative action and make this as my background. Now I've added the narrative background and here I don't need to mention the or then output and I have the option to customize this uh, when and then statements as per the user needs. So here I'll say when the user launches the application and the then statement also I'll be able to provide the updated one. Mm -hmm application home pages displayed okay now i can add one more action here called given to make sure the test environment is up and run so i can move these uh, given commands to the top also so that i can reorder the statements in in the uh, in the output feature file given the environment is working now in continuation to that i can add the next step called login so now let us understand that the login will have two parameters one is uh, username and another one is password so the brm modeling is equipped with uh, providing the uh, input parameters like uh, username and password and i can provide the respective data so that i'll be able to generate both valid and invalid scenarios also to cover the feature files. So here I'm giving the uh, username and password combinations here. So here also I'll say username is invalid and password is also invalid. Now, automatically, whatever the parameters that has been added to this particular when statement, since these are input parameters, you can see those are automatically added in this here. And I can perform saying, Perform login operation with username as username and password is password. So this is how the parameters will be automatically added. Now I wanted to con I can remove this then statement because based on the validation of the data that I have been provided here, I can take it to the negative and positive scenarios. So and I wanted to mark this as my functional tag. So quickly. I can go to this particular narrative action and here narrative action could be tag and whatever the tag I wanted to add to this particular scenarios, I can add that. The tag is functional. Having said that, okay, now the next step would be to take a decision on top of the login parameter. So I will say is login valid. Now, the basis of this particular validation is the password parameter. Now you can see, I can go and select 
on top of which parameter I wanted to consider this decision here. And I can start connecting these things. And here you can see, um, you can dynamically create the outgoing flows and connect them to the PRM nodes here. So, account overview page. Now, let me rearrange this. Okay. And from the same login, I can go ahead and create a negative flow also saying like, error pop up. Okay. Since this decision is being taken here, this doesn't require any kind of a when because the input is provided here and the expected result is being validated here. Now, what I'll do, I'll quickly go ahead and say customize and I can remove these when statements. I can modify this customer overview page also saying user landed in the SEC overview page. And the same is applicable for the error pop up also. I can remove the when statement like this. Like this, we can customize or remove whichever the actions that are not required as per my feature files uh, flow. And I can be able to add multiple things also here. User displayed with user displayed with error. Now, here is where I need to provide okay, what is the input data and what is the output data. So, how do I capture the data? We can see here, this is the data I wanted to mention here, valid value. Now, the same data I've been connected in my connector here. Quickly, let me rearrange this, and this will be able to generate the and rearrange the model here. Once the model has been created successfully, my next step is go ahead and start loading the test cases. Model loading is done. We can see the generation of the test cases. And once the generation of the test case is successful, I can quickly go ahead and look at all the test cases here, review. So one test case is taking towards the error pop-up and the other one is talking about the account overview page. Now, as a next step, I wanted to go ahead and generate the feature files from this particular uh, model. So for that, let me take add the scripting backend as Lirkin BRM scripter. So you can see this, this is the updated scripter. Say, finish and say export the test cases. Now when you click on the export test cases, it will create a new folder called Gherkin BRM. And now you can see three different uh, artifacts has been generated here. So one of the artifacts is like scenario overview, which gives the uh, overview of how many number of scenarios are generated from the model. And the other one is the impact analysis document. So this is the latest uh, uh, adding to the uh, Gherkin BRM modeling saying, okay, what is the current sprint that is going on? How many number of test cases are generated? What are the equivalent IDs? What is the current uh, uh, I mean, state of this particular test case and everything? And the other and important one is the feature file. Now, when you look at the feature file, this is how I wanted to see the output. Uh, that's the feature file. Now you can see this is the background. And when the user launches the application, given the test environment is working, then the application is home page is displayed. And you can see the rest of the scenarios are with the tag called functional because I've already added that kind of a tag with the model here. Now you can see the tag has been extended to multiple test cases and you can see the scenario outline as per the Gherkin standards and the rest of the things are also automatically popped up here. And the names of the test cases also can be mapped using another tag called name tag. So when I'm going to do the change in the uh, next uh, sprint, I can add these name tags. I can mark the updated sprint as sprint three and let me add a couple of changes to understand how does it work. Let me go back to my model. And here, I wanted to add one more tag here called name tag. So the name tag will decide what is the name of the test case or the scenario name that needs to be displayed here. So here the name tag is login is successful. And here the name tag will talk about the other uh, scenario called login is failed. Now the test case names and the scenario names also will be automatically changed here. Along with that, I'll quickly try to add uh, one more uh, thing called uh, add model so that uh, as part of the Gherkin feature file set, right, the one more interesting topic is like if the same scenario is being executed uh, with uh, two different data conditions, 
the two different data elements should be displayed in the data table and the scenario should remain the same so let me quickly show you that so i'll add one more thing here called add new customer and one more event called modify so for the add new element i'll add multiple uh, data elements and let us see how it behaves so add new customer so i wanted to add first name last name and location and let me add the data elements also saying arjun cm and the location is usa i can add multiple data conditions like this so priya yeah, g and uk now this doesn't require any data elements here now you can see okay before i export the test cases to output right i'll change this to my sprint 3 so that I, the tool will be able to um, generate the impact analysis according to the sprints i've given and i can see which of the test case has been impacted which of them are not impacted so i've added all those things and let me go ahead and say export the test cases with the new settings here so just to avoid the error conditions right please close all the other excel sheets which are already there open now we can see how many number of test cases are generated three test cases are generated newly and the previous one is not impacted okay now let us go ahead and see the same data in an excel output to understand it in a much more clearer way so i go to the impact analysis now you can see a new uh, sprint name has been displayed and the rest of the things has been mentioned as so this one i've already identified it has no change and these three are the new test cases that are generated for sprint three and this test case become obsolete and if i look at the output here in the feature file you can see the number of test cases here and the last test case or which is newly added saying login is successful scenario remains the same and the same scenario could be executed with multiple data validations validations here so though i am seeing four scenarios here but in the output you can see only three scenarios one two and three so this is where the tool is using its own intelligence to identify okay there are there are uh, uh, one scenario which is being executed with the multiple data elements and that is the reason it has combined both the scenarios into one scenario outline and given it the data in the data table this is called brm and one more interesting uh, uh, plugin that we brought in as part of the release is zira uh, zephyr scripter so in the previous releases we do have the zira plugin just to import the uh, requirement from the zira cloud environment but in this release we have empowered the zira zephyr scripter so that it can start exporting the test cases to both the cloud as well as the server or the data center environment and these are the settings that you need to consider to export the test cases to either to the cloud environment or to the data center environment so if it is a cloud environment you need to provide the url username and the api key and if you are exporting the test case to a zira sapphire cloud this is the option that you need to select and you need to provide the additional details like sapphire base url sapphire access key sapphire secret key and of course a new document and guide will be provided to the zira users how to capture the zira based url how to capture the secret key all those details will be provided as part of the guide guide so this is one more interesting option that has been uh, uh, provided uh, along with the new release please uh, reach out to us at uh, created.support@confirmit.com to resolve any issues or to uh, request for any any other updates of the demo thank you